The Scripps Howard Foundation is proud to honor excellence in editorial writing with the Walker Stone Award. The winners, Tony Messenger and Kevin Horrigan of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. As Tony Messenger and Kevin Horrigan began a new year as opinion leaders for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, they charted an ambitious course devoted to public welfare. By making the nation's growing income inequality and the need for legislative ethics reform hot topics on the newspaper's editorial pages, they hoped to educate the public, put politicians on notice, and bring about change. For starters, they wanted voters to stop electing politicians who don't have their best interests at heart, and they wanted leaders to stop taking actions that contradicted their stated goals. So they wrote relentlessly about failing local school districts, massive corporate subsidies, and proposed tax cuts that would hurt the middle class all through the lens of income inequality. And to incite much needed legislative reform, Messenger and Horrigan pounded on issues they described as wrong-headed legislative priorities and the Missouri legislature status as an ethics-free zone. By year's end, their passion for idealism was rewarded with a string of victories. Governor Jay Nixon reversed his opinion on the use of the drug propofol in death penalty cases. State Representative Steve Webb resigned amid campaign finance charges, and both Republicans and Democrats filed bills that called for many of the remedies Messenger and Horrigan had pushed for throughout 2013. It was more explanatory, but also exposing hypocrisy. So what they did was they showed how people and politicians were voting against their own self-interest. The work of the team from the St. Louis Post-Dispatch was noteworthy because of its detailed reporting, uh, its thorough research, uh, and writing that truly reflected uh, the conditions and the challenges of, uh, of, of common people. Presenting now the Walker Stone Award and $10,000 to Tony Messenger of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch is Tim Stoutberg, Scripps Howard Foundation trustee and Senior Vice President of Newspapers for the E.W. Scripps Company. Thank you, thank you very much. I want to start by thanking my colleague, Kevin Horgan, the Deputy Editorial Page Editor of the Post-Dispatch, who couldn't be here tonight. Kevin is the person who introduced me to the Pulitzer platform and its power and its beauty to help us fight for people that otherwise don't have a voice. He is a tremendous writer, and he's also a fine editor who every day makes every editorial on our page better. And I'm honored to share the Walker Stone Award with him. So thank you to the judges and the Scripps Howard Foundation for that. I'd like to briefly address two audiences with my time here. Uh, first of all, to the young journalists who are out there either in this crowd or who might later watch the video, if you have that heart tugging at you, that says you want to be a journalist. Don't let the problems in our industry or the occasional door closed in your face get in your way. Uh, my bosses may not know this, but I was turned down twice in my first two attempts to join the Post-Dispatch editorial board. First time I didn't even get an interview, I just got a rejection letter. But I don't give up easily, and you shouldn't either. Secondly, to the editors and publishers and executives that are out here, please, don't forget the editorial pages. As you are trying to find your way in the digital future, remember that the conversation that our communities have always had about the news going on in our community happens on the editorial pages. Good, strong writing on the editorial pages that takes on sacred cows is good business in the digital world. Please remember us. Thank you again.